Hi everyone. Well, you know what? It's the last Sunday of November and you know what? It's the day for the giveaway. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my little vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. Cheers everyone. I hope everyone is having a fabulous Sunday evening. Cheers. Mm. This is so good, and I am using this cup that I got from my my bestie here sherry from beauty is you inside and out i wished you lived next to me love this little mug and you know what i like even more is that it's the same on both sides so that you know because sometimes when you're doing these videos you want the front of the cup to show but then i have to hold it like this and yeah i don't i'm not very coordinated with my left hand so anyway thank you sherry so much i love using this coffee mug cheers could have one more sip so good and the coffee that i'm having today is from my smart sips my variety pack and i am having the brown sugar bourbon so so good focus please yeah i didn't even put any whipped cream in it today i know how special is that but anyway but you kind of saw this get up here and you're thinking um nancy hello it's, it's sunday when did we start doing wine diaries on sundays I know. I just thought it would be kind of fun to dress up doing a giveaway. It's always kind of fun to celebrate the people that you love and I'm celebrating you guys and you guys are just awesome. I appreciate you guys stopping in, making time out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me and I know I don't do a lot of giveaways and they're not that much, but it's just my way of thanking you guys for all your support. So the giveaway today is for the October and it was to um, just what was your favorite costume things like that that I, I did during the month of October it was such a fun month getting to kind of dress up and, and and I did something different that I've never done before like with that little you know the um, silence of the lambs the light kind of shining on uh, on me and doing some kind of Halloween poems and things like that it just kind of made it fun not sure if I will have the nerve to do it next year but you never know it was really really fun so thank you guys so much for your support and you know as fast as i thought october went november bam it went by in the blink of an eye i cannot believe how fast november went by it's like you know you're gonna you're doing decorations for fall and halloween in october and then you're gradually starting to put your halloween things away but leaving some fall things out and then bam thanksgiving's over and it's like oh my god i only got a few weeks to put up the tree so anyway i've got one tree already fully set up that's the one in my office um the one that i work work out of when i'm home so that's kind of like my multicolor tree so it's like a fiber optic tree and it just all the different colors show up and that's where i got like my traditional the colorful ornaments things that we picked up every year like when we were on vacation or when there was only like one one or two main christmas tree shops and so we'd go down the cave and we always would all of us would just kind of pick out a christmas ornament for the year it's the ones that the kids made over the years with some handmade ornaments i've got the first some of the first ornaments that i made for our first tree when we were first married because you know we didn't have a lot of money back then you know um we both had minimum wage jobs and so i made like clothespin dolls and decorated them with scrap fabric so i've got some of them on there still so that's kind of like my traditional tree the one in the living room what a fiasco that was i know so put it put it together it took me like two days to kind of huff and puff and and get the three pieces all set up and got it plugged in i had two sets of lights on my preset pre-lit tree that worked so i ordered some from amazon oh yes i need like blah 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 blah. I need, uh, five five strings strands to do it no it did not do it but i got them up didn't have enough had to order some more now it's done wheeled out my ornaments i've got ornaments downstairs but they're just too heavy to bring up so i bought like all kind of new stuff the last couple of years and i've just been storing it in the guest room and little wheelie carts 
So I've been decorating little by little of that. I've got one corner of Nutcrack is done. So that's on my hope chest in the dining room under one of the windows. So I've got that set up and I've got the rest to do. But, and I got my mantle decorated. So I'm excited that I'm kind of moving along, uh, kind of at a snail's pace, but you know, I'll get there. I, I think I'm gonna get there. If not, you know, you just do what you can do and worry about the rest later. Alrighty, so what else do we have? So, yeah, just, um, it's going to be a quick little video today. I'm going to, I actually did the, uh, a little wheel thing that you kind of spin some names because YouTube kind of changed some things on how to find out if people are subscribed to your channel. Not as easy as it used to be. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe you guys have a secret that you know how to do it, but for me, I can only, yeah, I've kind of described that at the beginning of doing that wheel so I'm going to insert that in a little bit still to come so for I didn't get to finish everything I wanted to do in November I've got like my planner going up next week uh, for the week before I am doing the uh, color and create with us so I've got a Christmas picture that I did in there I put away the markers the markers were winning I thought you know what I'm going to put those suckers away because yeah they were driving me crazy I cannot color with markers so I went back with some pencils but had a lot of fun doing that picture so I've got that done right after I finish this I figured you know since I've got makeup on and stuff you know I might as well do a Timu haul I think it's number 35 and I got some Christmas things in there so I'm excited about that so that'll be on Tuesday and then I still December 1st it's going to be usually it's a wine diary I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet but anyway that's going to be the start of vlogmas so i'm excited about doing that i did not haul up all my christmas ugly christmas sweaters yet but i've got to get that done during the week so friday i can do a little video for you guys all right so i'm going to kind of stop right here and um insert the uh the little wheelie thing and pick our winners hi everyone just trying to hold my cell phone a little uh still so i can just kind of go over a few things so we're about to do the giveaway and um, i went through and i was trying to figure out how to do it so i found a wheel that on this right here old wheel of names.com and i just kind of named it october fave costumes giveaway and you manually have to put the names in and because on that video right here I didn't really give a specific word or anything to use, just what was your favorite costume or video for the month of October, and that would be how we would pick the winner. And normally, and what everybody does, and of course it's a way to kind of grow our channels too, is when we do giveaways to just have the kind of rule in there to be um, publicly subscribed to our channel. But I was having a little bit of difficulty with that because YouTube has changed the rules again on us. So if you go to like everybody's channel right here, where it says home video shorts playlist community, that would be where people would have the subscriptions, the people, the channels that they are subscribed to. That's no longer there. But what they did do is change our home page. So it kind of lists things. The for you is different things that, um, people would pick out for maybe if you go on somebody else's site and you click on that, it's going to be like recommended ones. You can pick, um, you know, from the videos, the shorts that are there. I added the playlist while I was figuring today, but this is where people would have their subscriptions. And of course, if you don't know that, maybe everybody else knew it but me. Um, so we had to go in and change it. So I'm going to click on this customized channel, which I already put up here. And this is going to be the things right here. So if you wanted to add like a channel, um, a trailer to welcome new people and just ones that have subscribed to you, what they would see when they come on. I haven't done that part yet. A little slow. Um, the For You um, is what's going to be what YouTube recommends for someone that's watching your channel. And then there's going to be all the videos right there. And I added the, uh, the shorts were there already. And then I added that playlist while I was figuring today. So we're going to go to this place, add section, and we're going to go down here. And I know some people have featured channels on theirs anyway, and it's maybe maybe the top people that you watch. 
If you click on subscriptions, that should give us everyone. But the maximum that it's going to show us is 99. So for people that have a lot of different channels, we're only going to see 99 of them. So chances are if you weren't one of the first people that they subscribe to, you're not going to find your name. So I'm not sure going forward how to change that. And again, I know a lot of us do these giveaway type things and the collabs um, is to help people's channels grow and things like that. So without having a way to do that, I'm not sure going forward how people are going to do that. But anyway, we're still going to do the giveaway. I'm just put everyone that kind of mentioned um, they like the October videos or whatever or had a favorite that they picked for a costume or a video. I put their names in here if they had uh, what I figured would be a U.S. mailing address. Somehow I got these two empty slots right here. have no idea why. And again, so this is oldwheelofnames.com and you just enter names so it's not going to be a channel or anything specific for YouTube or anything like that. So anyway, we're going to give this a try. I've got the names all over here. I kind of put them in and um, I put my thumbnail there of the video in. So anyway, without further ado, let's see who the winner is. Ready? Here we go. I was afraid of that. So anyway, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, let's try it again. Alrighty, and we have Jeannie for our winner. I'm pretty sure Jeannie's won from me before. But anyway, Jeannie, if you could just contact me, let me know that you've seen that. And uh, let's try it again, shall we? And you know, because October was so much fun, how about if we pick another winner and have two winners for this uh, little giveaway? Here we go. Good luck, everyone. And we have just Janet. I am so excited to see Janet win. She supports so many of us. It's really nice to be able to give something back to her. So anyway, just Janet, I'm pretty sure you I have your, your address. But anyway, I will have information below. And I will get right back to everyone for a little closing up of this giveaway. Oh, you guys are back. I thought I had a few more minutes here to enjoy my coffee. But anyway, I was having so much fun. I got a little carried away and you know what? Decided to go for two winners. So I'm so excited that we had two winners. And so we've got Jeannie and we have Just Janet. Just Janet from Just Amazing Janet, who gave me my chocolate advent calendar. She said other things during the year too. She is just totally amazing. And I got this Better Late an ugly tin thanks to Janet because I, I thought it was cute you know what I mean but I thought you know people are gonna think you know if I get something like that I'm gonna they're gonna think I'm even vainer you're gonna think I'm vainer than you already think I am but you know really not at all but um, I just like to kind of dress up and have fun I don't think that's vain to you but anyway so anyway chatting with her I just decided to just get this and I really do love it so anyway, again, take off. I hope you guys take a few seconds. Congratulate our winners, Jeannie and just Janet. Um, my email address is going to be below. Just a comment below to let me know that you saw this. And just uh, let me know your where you would like me to send your present to. And um, 
yeah i probably have your addresses but just just in case my emails been deleted or whatever yeah you know how emails are at work but um yes i'm really excited that we were able to do two winners and um yeah i hope to do some more giveaways in the future i know my giveaways are not much but it's just my way of saying thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all your support october you guys made it so much fun and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, do that again next year. I mean, I'm just definitely going to dress up again next year. don't know if I'm going to do like little poems and things like that in, in front again, but it was really fun. I have no idea what made me do it, but you guys, you guys rock. So thank you so much. I totally, totally appreciate you guys. So anyway, I've got a few things that um, I didn't get to do in November that are going to fall into my Vlogmas. And Vlogmas starts on Friday. Can you believe that? It'll be December 1st this Friday. So I'm going to have to go downstairs. And I got my Halloween costumes downstairs and my Halloween decorations downstairs. I brought a few nutcrackers up, but I did not bring out my costumes yet. Yeah, they're heavier than you would think they were. You know, I might have to plug in the chairlift and just kind of put it on the chair left and just kind of walk behind it so it doesn't fall off. I might do that. So anyway, I'm excited to start Vlogmas with you guys. And um, of course, it's Friday. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I do have the Advent bottles, those little tiny bottles of wine. So I'm going to be having that. I'm going to have my chocolate Advent calendar. I've got some biscuits, walkers, kind of cookie type shortbread things. Um, I'm going to have a coffee of the day, which I'll probably have pull it the night before or something and then talk about it uh, the next day during Vlogmas so that should be fun and I think that's about all I've got planned for Vlogmas and then just normal everyday things that are going on Friday you know I usually try to do like a wine diary and have a dinner but there's like boom 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 so much going on so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing dinners um on Fridays, I'm thinking of doing something I call Freaky Friday. Haven't quite figured out what's going to be the freaky part yet, but I got the Friday part down pat. Yeah, Fridays are good. I know what Friday is. I just don't know what's going to be freaky about it yet, but I thought it was a fun title. Don't you guys think so? So, um, let's in style. So this fabulous, fabulous jewelry company, amazing, amazing prices reached out to me in October, gave me an allowance to spend on some jewelry, which it took me almost a week to spend that money. It was amazing, amazing. The prices are just fabulous and to kind of build it up to spend that money was, it was harder than you would think, but I finally did. It took me over a week to get that done. And then by the time I got that done, some of the items I picked were no longer in stock. So they kind of held my order while they were waiting for that to come. And then they came back a couple of weeks ago and said, you know, when it doesn't look like we're going to get those products back. You've got such a more money to spend. Do you want to pick up some more items? And, you know, I said, you know, I think I'm good. Let's just call it, call it a day. So I got those packaged on Friday. And so I've got to get that separated into three videos. So I'm going to be excited to be doing those in Oct no, in Vlogmas as well for December. So I'm excited to do that. I got my first Macy's box, um, beauty box in November, but I didn't get a chance to fit that in yet. So I'm probably going to have two of those boxes to do in December if I can squeeze them in. I got my Fab Fit Fun, the winter box that came in in November. Yeah, I did not get a chance to film that yet. So that's going to fall into Vlogmas as well. And then, of course, my if, things that I've been doing, you know, I'll have my Ipsy that comes in. It's going to be the Boxy Charm. Um, I haven't done a Wellness Wednesday in a while. Yeah, I know. But I do have, you know, how I was canceling that the stickers I was getting from Fabulous Planner. And I said, oh, yeah, this is my last one. Oh, no, this is my last one. Well, after that, I got one more in, so I haven't opened that yet. So we'll have to put that in. I think I got a Miss Ellie in from two months ago. That's still in the package. And then I just kind of skipped a couple of months because just nothing was really jumping at me that I needed. Um, Wink, I've put on hold. Um, I probably am going to put it on hold again in December because I'm going to have all those little bottles and then I still got two unopened boxes to start January with so I'm going to be putting the wink on hold until I can kind of get caught up you know keeping up and trying to do a bottle of wine a week you know it's harder than you would think it is 
it's not easy. It's, you know, it's not for us amateurs. That's for sure. It really builds up on you. So I'm going to have to put that on hold again, probably starting again. Maybe February I'll get it and I'll be ready for March. Alrighty. That sounds like, that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? December 19th. Um, that's my traditional day of remembering Rick's birthday. So I've got little traditions that I do. That's when I put up his inspiration tree. So I've got that tree to put up as well. I'm going to have that tree that I had over here. Um, it was a white tree and I've got, I bought black ornaments and things last year. So I've got that to put up over here. I got to change out my little background here though. You know, having those little backgrounds, you just kind of clip them on like a clothespin and you're good to go. Wicked, wicked easy. So that's going to be easy to do. I think I've got two, Christmas backgrounds. I'm not sure yet. Maybe three, but at least two. And so I've got that to do. And um, yeah, so for Rick's birthday, I always uh, set up my inspiration tree and that we did, um, I did for him um, his first amputation um, when he was worried that, you know, we knew that day was coming. We, we knew it was coming. Um, and, you know, he had bought a bike that had a sidecar on it from a guy that was needing some money quick. So he spent like $7,000 on, so it had a Harley Davidson sidecar and it had a Road King on it. And it was kind of like that kind of pearly white that I thought was really, really pretty. But I guess guys really don't like pearly white bikes. So his plan was to sell the Road King, take it apart and put it on his limited ultra glide. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So he was going to do that and then have them painted both black so they would be the same. So um, we knew that day was coming. Went in for the operation. Of course, the day of the operation, it's you got all these second thoughts and I'm never going to ride again and blah, blah, blah. So when I left um, the hospital after the operation, I went to let the puppies out. I stopped at the Walmart and I got like a two and a half foot Christmas tree. And I went um, into the storage room where he had been collecting like the Harley Davidson model bikes and things like that, you know, those little bikes. And so I got grabbed a handful of those, went to the tree, got a strand of lights, back to the hospital. And while he was still sleeping, I set up the tree by his bed with the lights and the Harley motorcycles on it and so we called that the inspiration tree that it wasn't over you're going to get past this it's a bump in the road you're going to ride again and that just kind of came a tradition for the other three imputations that came after that that it's just a bump in the road you're going to get through it and yeah so he continued to ride had to make modifications so i still put up that tree on his birthday which is december 19th so i put that up every year and just watch some of his favorite movies like Jaws, Storm of the Century, and Wild Hogs. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, of course it falls on a weekday which kind of stinks because I can't get those three movies in on a weekday. So I'm rather going to start on the weekend kind of celebrating that and then I will put the tree. I think I put the tree on this side of me last year so we'll have that up. And um, yes yeah, so I think that's about all I've got going on. And um, so I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in for my coffee, tea, wine, and life, especially the coffee part. And again, thanking our, congratulating our winners, uh, Janie and Just Janet. And I hope everyone goes out, has an amazing day. You guys are awesome. You mean the world to me. So thank you so much for all your friendship, all your support. I hope everyone had a fabulous, fabulous Thanksgiving day week. And you are ready to start. Um, if you celebrate the holidays for Christmas, I hope that you guys and Hanukkah and things like that. I hope you guys just have an amazing, an amazing season. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.